Caleb was abandoned at a young age. But instead of an uncertain future without family support, he is traveling the English countryside with 16 other children. Now 10 years old, Caleb is one of thousands of vulnerable children supported by Watoto Child Care Ministries. My mother first abandoned me on the roads and then in the road and then the local authorities brought me to baby Watoto and then when I I made two years they took me to Watoto village and then one year passed and then the second year when I'm in Watoto I started schooling. Watoto was founded in 1994 and takes care of about 3,000 children in three villages in Uganda. It's supported by local and international sponsors. Asia joined Watoto's neighborhood program when her single mother could no longer afford to pay her school fees. I've been in Watoto for two years. This might be my third year. So when they took me to Watoto, my mother was very happy that she could at least have something to eat. Because when I was there, I had to eat, I had to drink, and she had to go for work, and she had no one to, and she had no one that can take care of me. So when she took me to Watoto, she started tailoring and other businesses that can help her. In the next six months, the Watoto Choir will tour Britain and the Netherlands raising money for the organization and spreading the word about its program's achievements back home in Uganda. Back home in Uganda, there are more children who, don't, who need help. So we come here and get sponsors so that they can sponsor their children and, and so that their children can be educated. Jacqueline Niaga is one of the support staff traveling with the children. She was once a member of the choir and toured the United States when she was nine. Jacqueline has fond memories of those days and knows how valuable the experience can be. We have children who are between the ages of six and 13 and all the choirs last for a period of six months. So on the choirs, we travel all around now I, this is the UK choir. There's one in Asia, there's one, there's one that goes to, there's one in Asia currently, there's one in the US, and there's that two, two in the US, one in Canada, and we have one that goes to Brazil. So we go all around the world. And still it's the same thing to raise awareness and support. Jacqueline is especially proud of the neighborhood program which tackles one of the root problems facing poor families. Mothers and children left to fend for themselves neighborhood where we take care of uh, vulnerable women. These are ladies who have been abandoned by their husbands and some of them have lost their husbands. Some of them are living with HIV AIDS and some of them have never been to school so they're struggling with life to raise up their children. The Watoto Choir has performed for royalty and heads of government around the world at famous venues including Buckingham Palace and the White House. Terry Wangari, CGTN.